top five. Story number two, let's get it, baby. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Now, as you guys can see, I've been recording a lot of videos, but welcome back to Vlogtober. And what better way than to give you guys the story times that I thought that I would never give you guys, right? So, if my wig is lifting, that is because it is hot AF. These lights are hot. We're jumping into spring. I literally, literally have my aircon on, and it's 9 p.m. Like, that's how hectically hot it is but i told myself that i would obviously film as much as i can so that we have a lot of content for vlogtober so are you ready let's get into a bar hey oh okay let's go let's so <laughs> i don't know what actually made me remember the story time but it's because i was talking to my sister <laughs> My sister and I used to live together. So like sometimes when we sit and we talk about the things that, that happened between us, the story somehow came up, you know? And we're like, hey, wait, now nah, kind of this happened, right? Cool. So judging by the title of the video, you guys can really see what had happened. So I'm just gonna jump straight into the story without rambling too much, but I always ramble. So if you don't like it, sorry. <laughs> Joke's on you, baby. I ain't gonna stop. Shop. So there was a point where I was living with my sister, right? We were living obviously together in a big house. Like she lives there by herself now. She lives in a four bedroom, I live in a three bedroom. But like there was a point where we were living together because that house was huge. So right after I moved out with my parents, I moved in with her. And now my sister had a helper that she's had since times where my dad purchased this house. So the helper has been around for maybe five, six, seven years. And this helper was one of those helpers like but then they came this side obviously you know wanting to better themselves and she was recommended by i think a family friend or something of that nature i'm not entirely sure i say this all the time but i'll probably repeat it for the 56th time my dad is very paranoid so he doesn't just want anybody in his personal space and i think that's where i get my paranoia that i don't want just any tom dick and Matlangu in my personal space so when this lady came about ish fuck Summer's coming back and now the moths are being attracted to my light. Okay. So if you guys see like a little mothy thingy, please don't be surprised. It's like a little fly thingy, but it's those ones that like light. So this lady was recommended by like a good family friend. And then she came to obviously work for us. Well, work for my dad. We actually hired her. And she did really well, you know, like um, she was cleaning fairly okay. Like, come on dude like there was no problem so she stayed with us for quite some time and then when my sister moved out and got her own place she then started working for my sister because my sister before we lived together she was still living in her own place you know and there's this very popular place called stone ridge the side in the south so she would work for my sister and my sister obviously because we're very big on loyalty in the family so if you're with us you're going to be with us for a really long time and then when we moved to the place where we stayed at together she obviously came with my sister i get sharp 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 so i okay fine eh? my dad purchases this new place and says oh, okay fine you are gonna love with your older sister because i was obviously going through these these changes in my life and my dad actually wanted me to have a life and my dad is very like strict so i think when i moved in with my sister he just didn't want to be exposed to like he didn't want to hold me back from my varsity years but he also wanted me to live with my sister for a lot of reasons but i think the main one was the house was really big and he wanted us to live together kind of create a relationship which couldn't have been the worst idea but it was the best and the worst all at once right this lady came with and she would clean at the house and everything was fine sharp hi man let me tell you what the story started now i am a proud drinker okay i have my moments at times i was drinking spirits i think i actually started from the top and i went bottom people normally start from the bottom and go top so they start from like cider cider strong liquors strong liquors whiskeys and then they don't even dash with with like uh dash anymore they dash with water me i started the other way around so i was already drinking spirits body southern come forward body ing body ing body ing and then i went to like wines and stuff and then i got obviously to uh ciders and then obviously like i'm back now focusing on myself but essentially i started with hard liquor and then i went back up because i was in varsity and i don't know i i, I wasn't i wasn't really into ciders i didn't i actually don't like sweet stuff looking back on it but they, the point where this helper was living with us i was drinking lots of wine like i i am a drinker like i to be really honest with you guys like 
I don't know. I, it just started at a point where I don't know. I actually had a lot of issues. You know, when you're one of those black kids who grew up in families, and like instead of turning out some type of way where your family starts saying depression, we get a bit you find a very awkward coping mechanism. And for me, I would drink a lot. I'm a very social person. So by the time I lived with my sister, I would buy alcohol and bring it to the house. Because I mean, I'm grown, I'm 21. You know, so I was old enough. My sister would let me bring alcohol to the house. We'd contribute, you know, things like that. So my sister at that time was like a gin kind of girl, and she still is till today. And I was a wine kind of girl. Like I was like the wine. I was like, you know, whatever. I wouldn't actually touch my sister's gin. Like there was a point where hard liquor was just too much for me to bear. So I was drinking wine, you know, I was I was a wine girl, I was in my wine era at that time, I remember, because that's how I found out she was drinking my liquor. Okay, so fine, one day, I don't actually remember what time I came back, I came back and she was there at the house, she was cleaning, and then Gabo Matre for those times she leaves. Now I remember she was going through a lot, but she didn't actually talk to me, she spoke to my sister a lot, because obviously they, Yaban Fantuka from Fer. And I was just like, um, I know you, but I don't know you. So I was just, you know, like we were kind. I was kind to her, but like, it's not like she told me her problems. But her, my sister, she would tell my sister her problems, you know? So there was one day where she left the house. She's like, hey, okay, sharp nails. Sharp, well, when I, we would laugh. I would give her some of my old clothes because she had daughters and she had cousins, like, like nieces. So there were times where I'd give her like my old clothes, you know, emptying out, you know, guys, you know, giving away. And then the one day she left it was an ordinary ordinary day i even remember because i'm gonna tell you why it's gonna make sense but then i go to the fridge i want to drink my wine and i find my wine sitting like this and genuinely for me i was like a one two glass drinker at that time so a bottle would take me like a week i mean a bottle now takes me a day but that's neither here nor there a bottle would take me a week at that time so I remember I opened this bottle two days ago. Two days later, this bottle is sitting here. And I'm like, damn, was I that drunk? So I let it go. So I let it go because I'm like, hey, maybe I drank it. Or maybe Katia will drink it. You know? And that was the first time where I started realizing, no man, things aren't good. Like alcohol is disappearing in this house. Like there were points where I would give my helper alcohol. And I know I'm guilty of this because even my current helper now, like me and her, we can sit down and have a savannah together. Like I really encourage the comfortability between us because I want to create that relationship where there's no hiding, you know? I don't want her to take anything and have to steal it. I want her to ask for it and I can say yes or I can say no. So at that time when I would buy cider, sometimes I would give it to her. So. When I noticed the wine missing, I started having a lot of thoughts. I was like, I, maybe Katao drank it. Maybe I drank it and I forgot. Maybe. But I never even thought of her. It never even occurred in my mind that it was her. Right? And at that time, I was still broke. Like, I was a student. So, my dad was giving me my stipend and that was it. And once it ran out, like, see to finish. You know? So, then I had a neighbor in my, da in my sister's complex, right? Who was a really nice guy. Young guy. Very vibrant. He was also another, like, black guy. And, like, in my sister's complex, there's not that many black people. Like, there's only, only three in a complex of 20. Even with me, where I stay, I'm the only black person. I uh, understand? So... Obviously, there's a relationship that's created when you guys are seeing each other as humans. So we would go to his house frequently, man. We'd chill with him, you know, and sometimes he'd offer me, offer us a bottle of wine. So I remember this one particular day, I was like, hey, neighbor, can I please have a bottle of wine and I will reimburse you or I will pay it back one way or the other. And he was like, no, no, you don't even have to worry about that. It's fine. Can I come have some wine? Because vela, vela, when distress one good, like. So I go to his house and I take the wine right i take the wine i open i have a glass i go to bed because i remember that wine was strong as fuck so a glass in a bottle like this is only here here so if it's here i've only taken this much of the wine i keep quiet i chill a week no a few days go by she comes she used to come like three times a week so monday wednesday friday bye so the, I, maybe i got it on the sunday and it was monday Ne? Because I saw this in a week and I was like, no man, something isn't right here. Hi man, she comes Monday, it's fine. Wednesday, I noticed this wine has decreased from here. It's now here. I'm like, what? No, what? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so I ask 
ask her, I'm like, dude, are you drinking the wine? Because the wine is disappearing, dog. And she's like, no, because Katlao at that time wasn't into like wine. She preferred gin. Katlao actually, guys, is a health like enthusiast. Generally, by heart, she's a health enthusiast. So she also liked very clean gin, like very clean alcohol. Like, oh, flip, how am I gonna kill this thing? It's going to my ring light. It's actually frustrating me. Okay, sorry guys, we've clearly got a friend in the room. So anyway, I confront Katla and I'm like, dude, come on now. Like, I don't confront her in a like, why are you drinking my liquor? I'm like, dude, are you drinking the wine? Because the wine is getting, it's disappearing a lot quicker than I actually consume it. Because I'm at school, dude, so I'm actually only drinking the wine when I get home. And when I get home, I've still got homework. I've still got a lot of things. So I actually have like one, two glasses and I go to bed. And one, two very small glasses, you know? And Kata was like, no, dude, I would never touch your wine, dude. Like, I, you know me and Jen. And at that time, she was a Tanqueray kind of girl. So I'm like, oh. I'm like, Katleo. And I tell him, like, Katleo, this wine, this wine was not where it was when I left it here on Monday. And I come to this house every day. When I open the fridge, I'm seeing the wine. It's sitting here. Why after Wednesday say so? Kata was like, dude, what are you saying? Are you saying I drank it? I'm like, no. But who else is in this house besides us? Because I was like, no, dude, you can't do that. I'm like, what? I'm just making the assumption. Like, I'm just proposing the idea that Aussie is drinking our liquor. Because I was like, no, dude, you can't say that. Like, what would make you think she would never do that? Yeah, I want to get you. I want to get you in that good heart of yours. I'm like, no, Aussie would never do that. She's been working with me for years. I'm like, I tell if you're not drinking the wine, and I'm not drinking the wine. Who is, dude? Like, come on, this is this is the reality that we live in. She's drinking our liquor. Because I was like, no, she would never drink our liquor. And you can't be saying things like that. Are you trying to accuse Aussie of stealing alcohol? I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, bro. Because I was like, no. Then we dismiss it. And I'm like, I, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe. I was like, maybe you drank it and you forgot, dude. Like, you're a drinker. And I'm like, I'm a drinker, but I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Sharp. Ha ha ha. Lies, lies, and everything is lies. One day, because I don't drink tangerine. <laughs> One day, I think about two weeks later, <laughs> Kato comes home. We're chilling. We're talking. Ne? So my sister and I tend to. <laughs> Sorry. My sister and I tend to chill outside the garden. You know, we kind of really recap because we were like sisters in motion. Sometimes I was at Drake's house and I would see her once a week. And, but we have to come in and debrief, you know. So one day she finds me at home. She's like, I know, let's go stand up, let's go chill outside and have a drink, you know, cash up. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the couch and I'm waiting for her to make a drink. <laughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> so, okay, fine. My sister starts mixing a drink. She takes out a tanqueray and she obviously takes out a dash and she starts mixing a drink. <laughs> she pours the tanqueray. Now, gin is cleared. It's clear. Gin <laughs> <You know? laughs> is clear. And then she gets uh, juice. I'm like, she drinking? Like, I'm having wine. She drinking, she's like, ah, uh ah, -uh. uh ah. -uh. <laughs> no, man, there's no like Kenya. <laughs> she's like, no, man. I'm not tasting that very off thing about the liquor. So she takes the gin and she pours it in her cup. She's like, no, man, this is water. And now it tastes like, is there's no gin in the bottle it's water and now because the tech bottle is green it looks like there's gin inside <laughs> so my sister asked me that age and i'm like oh oh oh, 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 oh me and she's like yeah no but you've got a point <laughs> so after it is clearly indicated that our helper is drinking our liquor disposing the liquor into a bottle and then replacing that with water yo 
Lil Nas she even did that with a bottle of white wine. She diluted the wine with water. So let's say I had white wine, she would do this and dilute it with water. Yo, Katlo got pissed. I don't think I've ever seen Katlo so angry. And Katlo is generally a happy soul. I've never seen Katlo so pissed off. She was like, fuck this. Family meeting, family meeting. Like, yo. And I'm like, but Katlo, I told you, dude. I told you this. Because the thing is, you and I don't drink each other's liquor. And when we do, we'll normally kind of reimburse each other, but we never. My sister and I were at different points in our lives at that time. I was consuming wine, she was consuming hard liquor. I wasn't interested in hard liquor, she wasn't interested in wine. So I have a family meeting. So I, before the family meeting ha happens, I ask Elsie, I'm like, my wine, do you perhaps know what's going on? I was like, hi, no one not gets it. Even my clothes started disappearing. Yo. You know, she obviously does that very light hearted voice. Hi, next to me. And I'm like, oh see, there's cameras in and around the house. So I lie and I'm like, there's cameras inside the house. Do you see that white thing over there? That's a camera. So are you telling the truth? She's like, hi, yeah, no, I don't know. Are you talking about e -e -e -e? I'm like, okay. My sister calls Elsie. She's like, dude, we need to have a meeting. And then my sister basically asks Elsie, are you are you taking our liquor? <clears throat> she says she she keeps quiet. Katla's like, are you drinking our liquor? And she starts crying, bro. She starts crying. She's like, no, yeah, she's drinking the. She's like, no, yeah, she's drinking the liquor. Um. <clears throat> she did drink the liquor and then my sister's like what because I expected it because I've got fifth six seven cents and my sister clearly is too naive and too trusting of people she had said no she's been drinking the liquor what da, 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 da. she starts crying so my sister's just getting reset and I'm just like Sis. So then I think the first thing my sister asked is like, why don't you ask us for alcohol? She's like, no, she's going through issues. Somebody or the other passed away and she's been really under a lot of stress and I'm under, under immense pressure. And my sister's like, okay, you're under the pressure so bad that you would steal half a bottle of Tanqueray and replace half of it with water. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, my sister's like, okay, you're under stress. Yes, maybe you need to calm down. You know, a glass or two, yeah. And it's one thing, it's not acceptable, but it definitely could have been overlooked because we're human beings, we have problems. To drink half a bottle of Tanqueray and to drink a whole bottle of wine, to steal it and drink it, and not tell us and do it for months. I just was crying, it's like, no guys, please, I'm sorry, can you overlook it? No, I guess, Corona, my sister's like, uh-uh, 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 she's pissed now. Now she's pissed. Now Katlao, the, the management is coming out. Katlao, HR guru. She's like, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's Katlao, it. Don't cry. Oh, Lela. Come on, turn away yet. You've been doing it for months. And you don't have to tell As opposed to telling us. Because this is what's going on. Which is why, dude, helpers are in your personal space all the time. You need to develop that relationship where they try, they don't steal from you because they can do it at any point that they want. And when you don't pay attention to your things, by the time they start disappearing, you don't know who to start looking at. You know what I'm saying? She's like, uh-uh. Don't start crying. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? It's like, no, please don't fire me. What da, 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 da. My sister's like, dude, we can't keep here. We don't trust you. And I was like, you're fired like Donald Trump. I was like, fire her, fire her, <laughs> you know, because I was like, <laughs> but essentially we did fire her, and I think it's because, had I not noticed, we wouldn't have noticed up until the point where Katlo noticed that, like, the Tanqueray bottle was filled with water, but I think we fired her because it was the shock to realize that she had been doing it for so long, because I also gaslighted her, I was like, you know what's funny, because for a few months now, my liquor has been missing, which was true, but I didn't know, so I was obviously lighting for a few months now. And I think she got scared because she didn't realize that I picked up that it's been happening for a few months. But I didn't. I just said that. But then it obviously indicated that I was right because she had been doing it for so long. 
so eventually she got fired um we had to let her go obviously uh we had to let her go for multi for a multitude of reasons but i think the stealing was like the last straw and yeah i haven't heard from her since haven't heard from her since i've actually had funny stories about helpers but hey girl we move we keep it moving you know what i do but anyway guys that is the end of the story comment down below and let me know if you guys have had any issues with any of your helpers i know guys this helper story thing it's a lot hey but i hope you guys enjoyed the second story time for vlogtober make sure you also join vlogtober get that adsense peaking for you as well as getting a lot more followers use the hashtag vlogtober for any of my youtube subbies but until then i will see you guys in the next story time right here on hashtag vlogtober i love you guys so much and goodbye